All righty. Hello, Internet, once again. Um, I'm in a different place uh, with a more sturdy table, although I did test it earlier and it is very shakable, so I won't like intentionally do that to you. Um, although if the cat runs around, I can make no promises. She's hanging out because she likes to follow humans, hang out with humans. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I knew I, know I said I was going to do these once a week because I, I mean, partly I'm just worried about running out of things to talk about. Um, but last night after uploading the previous video, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, oh, there's all these other things I want to talk about. So I thought I would at least talk about, um, because it's fairly directly related to, to something I talked about in the last one, um, uh, about this, this talk I saw. So the talk was about board games. Um, it, it was uh, posted by Shut Up and Sit Down, which if you have any interest in board games, they do often funny reviews in like a very British way. Like it's, it's that wonderful British humor. Um, but uh, the talk, so the talk was about board games but was by an author. And he was talking about how a lot of board games fail to uh, have satisfactory endings because they ignore uh, an interest curve, basically. So it was, uh, he didn't quite show the interest curve and he wasn't doing the, uh, <laughs> should we try this again? The, um, you know, the, the, oh, you gotta have peaks and you have to have uh, periods of rest, excitement, rest, excitement, rest. He was just talking more about like the three act structure where you're like, okay, let's introduce, introduce, we've got things, uh, third act, climax, and then we have a resolution. So he was just going from like the super overall picture. And his argument was that in a lot of board games, they completely screw that up um, by having this scoring thing at the end. So if you've played a lot of games, like some of the ones behind me, wrong way, it's very confusing not being quite a mirror. Um, a lot of these games, not some of them, like up here is Dominion, which is good, but like, uh, let's say this one at the very, very top is Puerto Rico has this problem, um, where you do all this tallying at the end. So you kind of have a game with interesting mechanics, uh, and then it gets to the end and the game is like, uh, we made up an end point, I guess tally your score? And, um, they actually had a funny joke in, uh, in Shut Up and Sit Down, they talked about, um, fun repellent paper was how they described the, the, the things in some games where you, you write down your scores, like, oh, you got 10 points on purple things, great, and how much on money? And so you go through everyone and be like, okay, how much, are you on purple points? Oh, seven points, that's more than the other guy. And that's what the end of the game is, how is that fun? Um, also, there's a slight echo in this room, I hope that doesn't sound horrible for you guys. I tested it a little in advance and it seemed okay, but I, I think the quality is a little different down here. It definitely is. Also. I don't want to get too off topic. Um, I won't show you the other wall because it's boring again, but this is going to be like a theme. I didn't intend to do a tour of, of my apartment, um, but if, if we did do such a thing, you would see that three quarters of the walls are very blank. So you'll only see one quarter of the walls, <laughs> is I guess what I'm saying. Anyway, so he attributed this to a problem that he saw in writing where authors had no idea what the end was going to be they just had like an idea for a book and, and he thinks the same things happen happens with games. And I was like, oh yeah, I do that in games all the time. I abandon easily 90%, probably more of the games I make and, and the, the very small percent left over actually for whatever reason, various reasons succeed. Um, and I think it, it's for that same reason. I have an idea, it's like, oh, this would be a cool mechanic thing to try out. But then you get into it and you're like, oh, how would this actually proceed? What's the arc here? what is the end, right? So, so all those, I think it's the same problem. He thinks so too. Um, again, he was talking about board games. My experience is more with video games. So of course that's where my brain goes. Um, but so, so he was saying, we, you know, take the same lessons from writing and apply them to game design, uh, which is precisely the opposite of what I was talking about last video, right? Which is why I thought this was related. I was talking about lessons I had been able to learn from games in order to, to write a book. Again, we'll see how that <laughs> actually plays out, if it was a bad idea or not. Um, but he, and he was talking about, okay, I'm an author primarily. Here's how I would use what I learned from writing in order to make a better game. So, um, so yeah, the, the, the kind of takeaway, I think this video is gonna be very short. Maybe we'll even end in five minutes if I stop getting distracted with meta things like that. Um, his main takeaway was, he said, me and my friends, and I'll link to this video in, in the description or doobly-doo or whatever you wanna call it. Um, and here comes the cat, perfect timing for more distractions. Um, he said that he and, and his other author friends do not write a book without knowing what the ending should be. Um, they have the ending in mind. And when I heard that, I was like, oh, thank God I had an ending in mind. I think I mentioned before it was the ending of, of this show. There's a limb limit on, t on tables and I hope she keeps aware of it. I figure, I was like, I don't want the cat on the table, but I know I put two of my limbs on the table, so she's probably allowed to have two limbs. So there's a two limb limit. In, in this household, if you want to call an apartment a household. Um, an apartment with one human and one cat, a household. Um, 
but whatever, I inform you know, friends who come over with the same rule. Uh, so yeah, have an ending in mind. That was the takeaway he had. And, and he was like, yeah, you might change the ending over time, right? As you're writing, it, will, it, it might change. It's inevitably, well, hey, see, that's exceeding the limb limit. That is not allowed. Um, and she's actually pretty good about that. Even when we're eating food, it's really funny how she'll twist and turn to not have her other two legs because she, she's learned that once the other two legs go on the table, someone's going to yell at her and or take her off the table. Probably the end. Um, but anyway, have an ending in mind. That was the takeaway. Um, so, so that was like an interesting writing tip. I didn't even expect to find it. Again, it was posted by this board game review site. It was a board game talk. I was like, oh, I like board games. I'll watch this. And then it was by an author with like these interesting writing tips. Um, and he gave some other examples. Uh, uh, of things. Some of them felt a little forced uh, to me, but whatever. Sometimes it has to happen to make a, a good... I don't know. I'm not going to like fault him for that super hard. It was a really interesting talk. Um, and whatever. I don't know writing. He knows more than I do, right? So maybe his example is perfect. Um, yeah. So anyway, just a super interesting thing. I'll link to the talk. Um, if you're interested in writing, there's potentially a tip. And if you're interested in making game design, he has ideas too. And he had lots of other interesting uh, game design thoughts that I was like, yeah, that sounds a lot better actually. That um, you know, are even less relevant, so I don't talk about them. So anyway, just over six minutes, I'm going to stop now, and then unless I can't stop thinking about other things I want to post, I'll, I'll try to get on that once week schedule. Um, but anyway, thank you uh, for watching, and goodbye. Do we want to picture? Let's find the cat. Here's a cat. Mia. Oh, sorry, wait, I mean, over here, the noise. It doesn't matter. Anyway, all right, later.